life where I wasn't happy at all okay I used to be feel very down very sad I was very scared at night so when it was time for me to go to bed and the lights would would have to be switched off I was very afraid and I didn't at the time I didn't tell anyone what was going on because I was afraid or oh, maybe people won't understand me maybe I'll lose all my friends so many things were in my mind and I didn't talk about it for a long time, but the things were getting worse and worse. Now, eventually, I did tell my mum, and I, was, I did go to the doctor, and I had a bit of counselling, I had people that I could talk to, and then eventually I found help. But the only reason that I got the help that I did was because I actually spoke to someone about what I was feeling. You see, at the time, I honestly thought that I was the only person in the whole world that was feeling that way. Now, the, the dance, I know it's fun dancing, it's fun, you know, the moves and everything, but the dance has a meaning. It's not just a dance for fun. It has a meaning. So if you see some of the moves that we were doing, what were some of the moves about? What do you think? Let's start here. Yeah, the boxing. So what, what are we punching there? Are we punching people? No. We're not punching people. Who are we punching? Or what are we punching? Yes, it's brilliant. Fear, we're punching. Fear, we're... What else are we punching? <laughs> Crush all the worries, yeah. Because it's really important when you have... You call it big feelings, don't you? Yeah, big feelings, yeah. When you have these big feelings, sometimes it, it can seem like this is a giant. It's a bully, I can't handle this, but you can, you actually are really strong. Anything that you're going through, anything that you're thinking, any bad feeling that you might be having, you can get rid of it. I promise you, okay, because I've seen it in my life. Do you all have your hankies? Yeah. Are you ready for a fight? Sharon, a great success here today. What do you think? Oh, it's been amazing, hasn't it? Yeah. And this school really, I mean, to be fair, it uh, holds a special place in my heart because this is where my two sons came. I mean, they're oh, teenagers amazing. now, as you know. Yeah. But they came here when they were, uh, well, when they were little, really little. Yeah. So, yeah. And Sharon, you've really gotten behind this initiative, haven't you? And I really like want to thank you publicly for all your help with getting schools involved and everything. But why is it so important to you? I think uh, what's really misunderstood around mental health with young people is um, a lot of us think that it's just grown-ups that mm -hmm. suffer with depression. Um, just grown-ups that have these feelings that just don't go away. But yeah. we know that they're, you know, where young people are concerned, there's so much pressure on them now yeah, to look is. good, to perform well. Mm -hmm. There's parental pressure, there's society pressure, you know, stereotype pressure. There's so much for young people. But I think this is a really fun way. I think we've said before, a great yeah. fun way of taking that message out. And as you know, I'm passionate about talking about well-being yes, and mental you health. Are. So, yeah. so that's Amazing. why it was, uh, it was such a pleasure for me to get behind that. Now, we have more schools lined up. We have, we have. Guys, this is such good exercise, I can't tell you. <laughs> yeah, we're doing so with the exercise, but you know, I mean, it's great that so many schools are interested in actually taking part as well. Yeah, they really are. I mean, any more schools out there, we've got plenty of dates, so you know, that we'll be very happy to come and speak to you. Brilliant. But yeah, lots, lots on the horizon. Wonderful. Keeping dancing, everybody. Hey, hey. This way! Stop, stop, stop! Stop, 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 step back! I'm quiet, where's my hanky? Woo! Up, 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 together, up, up, together, 
So everyone, now I'm here with the head teacher at this school, Mr. Paul Miller. And Paul, what did you think of the idea of the MHD Challenge when you first heard about it? Uh, we thought it was a fantastic idea that we very much wished to get involved in. Uh, my deputy actually brought it to our school's attention. We think we've got a duty to very much equip our children to succeed in life. We wanted to raise awareness of mental health, um, to talk about it. That's a healthy thing to do and to give strategies and awareness to our children in how to cope as they move through this next stage in their educational journey. And what did you think of your amazing students today? They are superb, aren't they? They're full of energy. At this stage in the day, they're still going strong and they put a lot of effort into that, um, that dance. And of course, the actions and the symbolism as to what they mean, that's also really important. So I'm sure they've had a great day. And well, I'm ready, I'm just about ready to collapse, but before I do, <laughs> I, it gives me great pleasure to present the official MHD Challenge Certificate of Completion Thank to you. Broxbourne Church of England Primary School. Thank you.